This video is the second in the series looking at some of the key upgrades that can be found in the Performance Point 2010 dashboard designer. Right now, we're looking at an analytic chart in 2007 Performance Point dashboard designer. What we're looking at is some 100% stacked bar charts for AdventureWorks data. Now, in the 2007 dashboard designer, if you go up to the ribbon under Edit and go to Report Type, you can select the type of visualization that you'd like the data to appear in. So, for example, if you'd like traditional bar charts, you could also select that visualization. Or if you'd like to see the, uh, the grid of the data itself, you can also make that selection. But what is not available is the classic pie chart. Now, in the 2010 version of Performance Point Dashboard Designer, we go up to the same ribbon, and under Report Type, you'll see that we can select pie charts. And you'll see that this is the same data in the series, in the axis, in the background, that we had for those 100% stacked bar charts. So in the series, we've selected accessories, bikes, and clothing, which can be found over here in the key. And on the bottom axis, we've selected Australia, the United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States. Unfortunately, looking at that selection, South Africa and India were not, not available. Otherwise, we could have um, basically represented the majority of the former British Empire. Now, looking at this particular way of building the analytic charts, uh, how do you decide how you want to visualize the data, and how do you decide what you want to put on the series and on the bottom axis? So starting with those particular drag and drop areas, let's switch around the dimensional hierarchies that are into each of those selections. So let's move customer geography over to series and move product categories over to the axis. Now you'll see what happened is the dimensional attributes which are in the key are now the uh, customer geographies and the information which represents each individual pie chart is now the attributes of product categories. So we flip-flopped what the pie chart represents and what the slices of the pie represent. Now, looking over here in the background, you can see that the underlying measure that we're viewing is Internet Order Quantity, uh, most likely a simple count in the AdventureWorks cube. And we've also added the date to the background so that when this particular analytic chart is added to a SharePoint 2010 dashboard, a filter can be hooked up to it in order to select um, data within a specified date range. Now, what if you want to add a filter, for example, for model lines? Well, let's take that dimensional hierarchy and let's add that to the background. And you'll see that uh, initially it doesn't make any change to the analytic chart, but uh, let's make a selection here. So you'll see that by default, all attributes are selected, parents and children, and they're all available there for SharePoint 2010 filters on a dashboard. And let's say we just want to look at accessory, and we don't want to look at anything else, and uh, there's no need to include those other selections in the background for filters to hook up to. Now you'll see that uh, we're looking at data for just the category within product model lines of accessory, which, uh, not by coincidence, for product categories, which is in the bottom access, is accessories and clothing. So there you have it. First of all, the visualization of what the new pie charts look like in Performance Point Dashboard Designer 2010. And secondly, a brief tutorial on how to use the series, bottom axis, and background drag and drop selection areas for dimensional data, measures, and calculations. Once again, you can read more about uh, this particular tutorial at the GNET Group blog, www.gnetgroup.wordpress.com, or you can learn more about GNET Group at www.gnetgroup.com.